Hello everyone, this is Ananya, and today we're going to be learning how to make a awesome, cool animation slide. So let's begin. First, you want to type in slides. And it comes up. So you go to your slides. And now I'm going to show you an example of me making the slide. So this is super easy. Uh, you can actually make this in five minutes, as I did. It was so easy to make. And I'll actually show you. I even published it to web, so I'll show you right now, right here. Okay, guys. Here it is. I'm going to take, uh, yeah, it's published. So what we do is, now I, I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to paste it right here. I'll show you how to do this in just a second. I'm sorry, guys. Wait one second. <laughs> okay, guys. So this is my animation. And it is so easy. I have published this to the web. And I will show you how to do it. So, let's begin with the brand new slide. So here we go. I'm going to go to slides again. And I'm going to bring up a cool brand new slide. Okay, here we go. Here's the slide. What I'm going to do is name this, uh, let's say, hmm, let's name this, um, stop motion, motion, 0 0.00, 0 0.02, yeah, this is stop motion number two. Or maybe I should do this. Give me a second, guys. I'm figuring out stuff. Okay, there we go. So that's our title. Now, the first thing we want to do when you get this is change the layout. So how we do this is if we go over here. Let me show you guys. So uh, we don't need the themes. So we don't need that. Next, what we do is we're going to click on. Let me just click out of this. We're going to click on layout. And we're going to apply a blank layout. Okay, now that she is completely clean, now what I can do is I'm not going to, yeah, we're going to create a background. So let's choose an image, and I'm going to go for maybe, let's go for space. So we're going to go to Google Image Search. We're going to search up space. Sorry, guys, I'm typing with one hand, so it's a little hard. It's a little hard, but we did it. Okay, now over here, what I can choose is a background. Now, um, I'm looking here, and I might just go for this one right here. Okay, let's insert that image, and done. Look, it is beautiful. Okay, so this is what we're going for. Next, I'm going to insert um, our um, moon. All right, so we're going to search up a uh, moon transparent and it comes up right there here we go now I can choose a moon let's go for this one right here and we're going to insert it and that comes up real big so I'm going to like just adjust the thing a little bit right there okay there we go Um, yeah you can adjust the size to whatever you like and yeah, we're gonna enter another image which is going to go spaceshipy. Let's go spaceship. So what I'm gonna do is now search a spaceship. So space or maybe a UFO, why not, you know? UFO transparent trans transparent. There we go. UFO transparent background. Okay, here we go. Here are some UFOs. Um, I'm looking at these, and I kind of really want to go for this one. This one looks really cool. Let's insert this one. Okay, here it is. Oh, very pretty. Okay, let's make this tiny. Smaller, smaller, smaller. And we're probably going to have it peek out a little bit. And what we can do to make it look better is we're going to click on order, and we're going to click send backwards right there now it's behind the moon 
Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure a little, even like a tiny bit of part is showing. Now what I'm gonna do is take the slide and I'm going to control C, control V, make another one. And on the second slide, I'm actually gonna kinda move this thing a little more, like that, towards there. I kinda wanna make this a little smaller too. Let's just see how big this is first. Yeah, it might go a little smaller. Smaller. So now what I can do here is I can erase this slide. Like that. Okay, perfect. Now we have a slide with the UFO sticking out. Now I want to do the motion like this, so I'm gonna copy paste now. There we go. Now there's an exact slide that looks same. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it go a little bit more. Take this page. And then I can easily control C, control V it, and boom, you get a third slide. Now you can keep going. You can make it point out a little more. And then you're going to come in again. You're going to go control C, control V, you get another slide. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add actually another uh, rocket or something like that, spaceship, not a UFO this time. So if I go to image, I'm going to go to... Okay, um, we can go for spaceship, so space ship, transparent, transparent, there we go. Now that I'm searching up a spaceship, what I see and I want to go for, hmm, might just be, okay, actually I want to go for this one, simple, easy, yeah, let's go for the red one. Okay, let's insert this image. All right, there we go. Here's our spaceship. What we're gonna do is make it a little smaller. Right, and I'm gonna make it peeking out from the corner over here, a little bit here. Yep, something like this, okay? Now, you can't really see it. So when we go to slideshows, you see we can't see all of this part because it's out of the sides, and this way you can use as advantage. So that's good. All right, so um, let me just exit of that. And yeah, we're going to keep going and um, copy paste each side and move these a little bit each time. So I'll see you when I'm pretty much like done moving. Okay, guys, so I'm pretty much done moving and ready for some action. So let's just present the side and see how it looks right now. So up till now, what I've done is here's their space. I don't know why that happened, but yeah, that's much is what we have. Now, what I wanted to do now is make some laser beams coming out, maybe shooting the other person. That's going to be super cool, and then we could do a glass. So, I'm going to copy paste again, and now what? this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to line, and I'm probably going to create this about here. Yes, and then it's going to come out a tiny bit right now. And then what I'm going to do is border this so it's a little heavier so I can actually see the color. And I'm going to change the color to maybe a red laser beam, right? That's nice. And then what I'm going to do is control C, V over here. And the second one, oh, sh 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 not that, okay. And the second line right here. Yeah, we're going to scooch, 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 scooch. This one about, like, maybe over here. Yeah, I kind of want it down here. Then maybe, like, we can make it go a little upwards. Something like that, yeah. And then we're going to change this color to, like, maybe a green. Right. So now what we're going to do is copy-paste the same slide again and on this slide we're gonna increase the length of each one so let's go increase this length to about here and same thing with this guy over here it's gonna go a little higher oopsie did a mistake maybe we can just redo that okay so right here we're going to make it a little bigger there we go. And I'm going to keep extending this until one of them each hits the other. Okay, guys, so I've gotten the lasers up to here. So as you can see, this one has already 
um, I'm sorry, the red one is this, so this one has already hit in the red spaceship, and the green hasn't. So that means that this spaceship is bye-bye, dead. So what we're going to do is now I'm going to show you how to create a little explosion. So we're going to go here as insert image, search the web, and uh, you can search up explosion. Explosion. Transparent. Here we go. There we are. Explosion transparent, and we can choose one of these. Um, and I kind of want to go for this one. So let's insert that. Now what we can do is we're gonna create. Wait, where's the image? Yeah, there it is. Okay, we're gonna drag that here, and we're gonna create this real small right here. Real tiny. It's gonna be a tiny one. Tiny flame. And that flame is gonna shoot right above here, like right there. Yeah, perfect. Um, and we might want it goes a little smaller. Okay, <laughs> perfect. It's real tiny now. Okay, here we go. And on the next slide, I'm gonna remove the lasers. So, come here, Control C V. And now this time, we're gonna remove both of the later lasers. Sorry. So, bye bye lasers. Okay. <sighs> Now that the lasers are gone, we're gonna do um, maybe move this one a little bit more like that. And then this guy over here, the flames are gonna go higher. So something like that. And then we're gonna do the same thing and keep going. Okay guys, and I also wanna show you something. Now what I want to actually do now is try to tilt it downwards a little. Now this is gonna show that the spaceship is going to fall back. So. That's what we're going to do. So I'm going to first adjust the fire, and I'm going to keep tilting this and making the fire bigger at the same time so it looks a little realistic. Okay, guys, so I've gotten to the point where this is at the real bottom. So let's just go through our slides and see how it looks right now. And then we'll add another thing. And this literally just took me like 10 minutes. What, like 5 minutes? I don't even know. It's like so easy to do. Oh, my gosh, why is it doing that? Okay. Yeah, so we're up to there. Let me go slower this time. Okay, so it starts there. And then this guy comes in, and then they shoot lasers. It hits this person. Fire gets bigger, and they go down. Okay, now I think I should do another slide um, and just, like, completely vanish this one. So maybe I could, like, put this thing, like, all the way down and basically vanish it and then this one also like we'll just vanish it completely and maybe this one can come here and then maybe what i want to do in the next slide is add some text we can always do some fun text right so over here what i'm going to say is um i'm going to make a text box and it's going to come out like this so like this and what kind no actually i kind of want to shape so what i'm going to do is um, yeah, okay, I want a shape. So I'm going to go to shapes, and I kind of want this one. I don't really know. But now I'm going to create a flaggy thingy, and it's going to be probably because, um, yeah, now what I want to do is um, make this spaceship go up to the moon. And then when it comes to the moon, it's going to, like, put a flag down and say the moon is mine. So, yeah, that's what my next plan is. Okay, so I've gotten to the point where I have added the moon. And I think this is going to be perfect. So, let's just go through our presentation and see how it looks. So, slideshow... And here we go. So here's the moon. Do 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 boom. What they're doing is fighting for the moon. So UFO goes back and says our moon. Okay. I think this was super cute. Now I'm gonna show you how to create this into a movie, which is actually extremely easy. So let's do this. First you go to file. And then what we're going to do is we're going to, um, right here, publish to the web. And, uh, yeah, we're going to have a link. And not every three seconds is super slow, so we're going to go to every second. And we can just click all this. This is really good. Right, and then now we can publish it. And just click OK there. And you get a link. 
Now, in this link, it says a thousand. Now, a thousand is going to be slow. So, you want to change this to a hundred. So, what, was, what first would we do? I'm just going to copy this. So, just control C, copy it. And over here, what I'm going to do is paste it. So, control V, and I'm going to change the 1000 to a 100. And enter. There we go. There it is. Published. Yep, there we go. And now you can send this to your friends and family. It is super fun, and I love this. So, good luck.